Hey everybody, it's Maria. Welcome back to my channel. So glad you could join me today. Um, Sunito contacted me, a f it seemed like only a few days ago, but maybe it was a week or so ago, and told me they actually have improved the live dock. I did a video on it a couple weeks ago, maybe it was a month now, time goes so fast. And this is what it looks like. As you can see, I've been using it. And it's really cool. I, I was a little hard on it at first because I, I was frustrated because I didn't have the adapter. So to me, it seemed I could only use it with my computer, which is USB-C. But I've since bought this little adapter and I can put it right on and use it with my phone, which I'm recording with, or my iPad. Um, it's actually worked really well when it's worked. And what I mean by that is yesterday I was using it. I had, this is the in, right? So I had it from my synthesizer out to here. I have the headphones here, right here, my headphones. And then I had this charging the, uh, charging it so that it could work with the phone. Like, so it would go on, on a battery brick. The problem is, if you can picture the iPhone and you have to hook it here, you see, if I'm, if I'm recording landscape, which is better to record full-length videos with, there's too much pull. And the thing, then that's, the phone starts to shift. Or if you finally get it, which I thought I had a few times, I kind of shifted the phone over so it was kind of balanced. It disconnected and I recorded nothing because with the synthesizer is there's no external speaker. It was going right to this. So all you see me is tapping things and it was a complete, complete waste of my time. So I was kind of excited that what came in the mail was the new one, the Live Doc Pro, they're calling it. So I'm happy that it came. I thought it was out of stock, but there it was. So I'm going to unbox it for you now and see if perhaps this can be avoided. Um, I do wish they had it where you can just put your own plug because then it could be longer, you see? But you can't because it comes right out of it. And I'm assuming the new one's like that too. So if they want my opinion, I will tell them, you know, that's another thing. If they can just improve that, you can put your own plug, then that would save a lot of problems, you know, like I had. So without further ado, I never know what that's for, I guess, when they tape. <laughs> okay. So it's in a similar a similar box. A little smaller, actually. So the box is thicker. Okay, maybe they're saving the environment. Okay. They said they made some improvements. My other one of my things that I couldn't believe was was that it only had eighth inch inputs and you know that's okay for certain synthesizers and such um and line level but if you wanted to plug your guitar now you'd have to literally use an adapter and i, don't, I just think the quality might not be there so this is what it looks like okay all right i got it don't tell my dentist <laughs> All right, we'll make sure the plastic's back in the bag so Gracie doesn't have any issues. She has something called dietary indiscretion, which translates to she puts anything in her mouth and everything. Okay. All right, orangey, purplish. I like their colors. Okay. A little manual, a little, this is nice, a little carrying thingamajiggy, like you could hook it on so you can like carry it, maybe hook, clasp it to something in a carabiner or something. Another headphone quarter inch jack, I guess if you wanna make the other, I think they have one quarter inch input this time. I think this is, has to do with streaming. I still don't know because it's got like the microphone. So maybe, maybe you plug a microphone into this. I'm not really sure. Maybe this goes onto that. I don't know. I won't use that. 
I know exactly what I would use it for. And if it works, it'll be great because I like portability. Portability. <laughs> so uh, this is what it looks like. Okay. And it has, I think this time, this is good. This was one of the criticisms. See here, these lights, I believe. Um, there was no way to check the gain. And I did, when it was working on a few videos, I did um, distort the signal because there was no way to tell. Like it sounded fine in my headphones, but when you're hearing it as opposed to what's going out, two different things. And so this is an improvement already is this little VU meter, I guess you could call it. And it has the decibels. So three decibels all the way to 21 decibels, okay? Uh, if this is the same as before, which I think it is, you press it and that's like Bluetooth. And I believe the lights go on so you know it's working. Um, this loop back feature I think has to do with if you are playing something, say with an iPad and like maybe background music and you want to put it in here, but then record you maybe singing over it, maybe like karaoke or a podcast going into the audience, you can do that. So possibly for streaming and for that type of uh, function. Um, oh, this is a mute and solo button. I think that's what it is. I'll look it up. It says M slash S. That's my guesstimate. Oh, here's the Bluetooth button right here. So they changed it. This is a Bluetooth button. I'm assuming it lights up. It looks like it would. And now we have on the bottom a dedicated quarter inch instrument jack, which I'm really happy about that. So you could plug your guitar, bass, whatever into there. And then there, it says microphone, but it's still eighth inch. I guess because they're thinking of maybe the microphones that are on your earbuds. That's the only thing I can think of. I don't have a microphone that I would have to like use a converter or something, which would be kind of weird. And this is your headphones. I do have the eighth inch for the headphones, so that's fine. And this is for power. That's why they have a little power thing here, see? And that's so you could put it with a battery brick. Remember, that will weigh everything down, though. But they've also improved it in that they put it so it's not sticking out. So for purposes of traveling, you just peel it. And there you have, again, they use the USB-C. But now, what did I do with it? Oh, it's on the other one. <laughs> but now I can put there. Nice tight fit. Now I've made it to function with my iPad, which this is 2017 iPad, still has the um, USB, uh, the lightning port. So this will work with the iPad or my phone. So we're gonna try this, try this out. Maybe I'll try it with the iPad so that I can use the phone to record my discovery. And, and see, maybe I'll even try the same thing. I'll try to record the synthesizer or maybe a guitar this time because you can now without having to go to an adapter from the, I don't know, didn't work for me. But this looks like it could. So I'm excited. This is called the Live Dock Pro. I believe it's available starting or the release date is um, October 21st. And also, I, I forgot to mention this last time, and I'm not sure how long they're good for. This one, I think, is till November 17th. But check, I'll put it in the description. There's a little discount code if you wanted to use it, if you want to try this. So, uh, oh yeah, over here, I forgot to mention this. One last thing. This is the volume. So this would be, I guess, for this, your gain. I'm not really sure what the two different ones are for. Well, we'll figure it out. I'll look at the instructions. Maybe I'll look right now real quick. just want to see um, what they're saying. Okay, that's in Chinese. Okay. Is it in Chinese? Okay, there's, there's English. All right, so instrument game. Oh, okay. So one of them is for the microphone. Right, mind. There's two, like, microphone pictures. See, I'm not crazy. So this bottom microphone picture... That's where this one is for. That's for the volume of your microphone. And this other one up here, no. This one down here where the, this view meter that I think is a view meter, that's for your guitar. It's a little confusing, but I guess once you start working at it, you will be able to figure it out. 
Um, let me see if there's anything else. Supports high definition stereo recording, Bluetooth wireless, built in speaker, Bluetooth. Okay. They're calling it an interface this time. The last time I think they were calling it, I don't remember what they were calling it, but it's a little audio interface. Okay. And it is very portable. I can picture, you know, just grabbing this. It could fit in the case of most of your gear, like a, a synthesizer or even a guitar case. So that's really neat. And all you need is your phone and you can record anyway. Right. Stay tuned, folks. Let's see how we can get this to work. I'm not kidding you. I have been fiddling, which is trying to get this simple thing to work for like 10 minutes. You can't get it to go through. This cannot come back up the other side. It should be easy and then you should be able to flip it and then pull it and then you have a little tie, but you can't. So Sunito, don't do this. Make it easier. This does not work. I, I like the concept, doesn't work. Not gonna use it. Be right back. Okay, I might as well just show you what I'm doing. So I have my electric guitar and I put my headphones plugged into the live jack headphone uh, jack. I'm gonna put them on. I'm gonna take these transmitter, like wireless guitar thingamajiggies because I don't want anything pulling on the Live Jock Pro. Plugging it in here, turning it on, it's on, the green light's on. And then I'm gonna plug the, the uh, receiver, um, it's on now. I'm gonna plug that into the instrument jack of the Live Doc Pro. Ooh, and I hear it. Now, funny thing is, I only really hear it in my left speaker now. It should be mono, but I'm really supposed to be able to hear both. But maybe it's if you put a mic, then you'll hear the mic in the right side. I'm not really sure. But it's a little annoying that I only hear it on the left side, which is the mono side. But let's see how it records, and I guess it won't matter. So. I'm going to hit the record button. And by the way, it seems like it just, it's not really, it's not a VU meter like I thought. That would have been nice. It's just setting the gain. So I think you're still gonna have to kind of check it, do a test. So I'm gonna do a test run here. Oh, let me add a track, um, add a track. I won't do stereo because if I do stereo, you'll see that's only we're going to record on the left side. Actually, I'll show you that. So now here's a stereo track. When I record, I'll show you just so you can see it in case you make this mistake. You see, it's only recorded on the one. It's a blank line on the bottom line on the bottom because it's not recording in stereo. So that's just a good test. And now you go back. I'm going to delete this track and make it. I'm going to make take a mono track. That's what I want to add. Add a mono, whoop, not MIDI, a mono track. So here's my mono track. And I want to tell them they really should have the headphones. It shouldn't be mono in your headphones. OK, and now I'm just going to record something and let's see how, it, you know, how the wave looks. Right, so there's a recording. Very nice wave, it didn't distort. So I just put it on, um, it says 12 uh, decibels. I don't know how accurate it is, but it's just the one in the middle. <laughs> That's what I chose. And it's got a nice wave here, so you have some room to do some, any kind of um, EQing and, and, and effects, so it won't distort. Okay, so I will let you hear it um you really can't you're not gonna hear much because it's from the ipad speaker you know what i'm gonna do I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna render it and see if it saves it it might just be 
I'm gonna X mix it down and it's gonna go to audio share. And let's just see if it, if you can hear anything. So here's the, the wave. Okay. All right, it recorded pretty well. The only criticism I have is that in my headphones, I only hear the left side. So I don't know if that's something that they can work out. Um, and I guess I could try, let me try a little synthesizer with a um, eighth inch and see if that goes in stereo like it's supposed to. Hold on, be right back. Okay, okay, let's try this with the Volca, which is a stereo synthesizer back in it should connect and it does now I'm going to take the eighth inch out from this the headphone out that's left right stereo and I'm going to put it into the line in I just don't think it's going to work I think it's not going to, I think it's going to be mono which kind of stinks but let's see what happens let me not jump the gun all right, I can hear it. You can't because it's um, going into my headphones. But let's just see if it records. That's the main thing. Now let's see if I see anything here. Now I made it a stereo track, so let's hope it works. Now remember before, when I tried the stereo track with the mono input guitar, it only recorded on the left side, remember the top? That was the left, the bottom had a, a flat line, okay? So if this is stereo, recording in stereo, we should get it on both. So let's see what happens. I just press play because I have a, a sequence in there. Ah, two lines, okay. I'm pleasantly surprised. The reason I'm pleasantly surprised is because they show a microphone, which would normally be mono. So, but it is recording in stereo. Very cool. All right, I'll let you hear it. Okay. Stop it. Boom. Now, I'm probably going to do the same thing. The problem is it has something to do with this. So I'm going to disconnect it. It has something to do with Aurea still thinking that I have something connected. That's why it's not working. So this is what I just recorded. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just export it to audio share and let you hear it. That was the first one. Now this is the second one. It's a little smaller. I could have probably upped the gain a little. But if I want, I could always, um like, I, I'll normalize it just so you can hear it. And now it gives you a, a you know, a bigger wave. Now I wouldn't do that if I wanted to add any kind of effects or anything because it might distort then. So let's just hear it. I don't need these headphones. <laughs> and let's play it. Now interestingly enough, it mixed down to what looks like a mono wave, doesn't it? But I'm just thinking this is the way it shows it because it says, no, two channel. Good, it says it right there, just the way it looks. But if you read here, it says two channel. So, seems like it works pretty well. Let's go back to the... All right, so I think... Let me put this back up a little. So I do think this is an improvement because you have the, the quarter inch input. I didn't need to use it with a battery brick to get it to turn on where the other one it seemed to. So that was good. I like that you can, you know, I guess I have to take this off and you can keep it in here like that. That's kind of nice. So it's a square. Um, 
I wish this was an actual VU meter because it doesn't seem like it's not showing me. It should, like an, a normal v, VU meter would be where if I crank the uh, instrument up too high and started to record, you would see it going into the red. You know, you would see it going up where here it just stays on whatever decibel you put it on. So I guess it's an improvement, but I think it still could be better. So I say keep going, Sunito. I think you, you seem to want to please the public and um, to fill a niche or a niche where there is one for portability and recording with good quality. I thought the quality of the recordings were good. And um, I'm probably definitely going to try to use this because the other one, as I said, discon disconnected. I didn't like that. I may, if I need to use it with a landscape camera and I want to do a live recorded video, that's the cool part where I could get good stereo or good recording while I'm also doing the video. It saves me a step. I don't have to, you know, match up the audio and the video. So I like that idea of just being able to record right to the camera. Um, if I were going to record landscape, I still think this is going to be too heavy. So I may have to use some kind of Velcro, I would think, to just kind of attach it to the mic. That's the only way around that I could think of. Otherwise, it's just going to be too heavy. Or if you don't want to do that, Sanito, if you could not make this part of it, this should be just a plug that we can then put our own plug to. You know, even make it um, USB-C, which is standard, and then I could still use the other end with a lightning or regular USB or whatever. But having it where it's hardwired is not good for two reasons, just like headphones. These headphones I've had forever. You can see they are falling apart, but I can unplug this if this wire, which this is my second replacement since I bought them, they would have been thrown away 10 years ago. You see, but I've had them so long because this is replaceable. Okay, um, that's it. I, that was always the thing that went wrong on, on headphones for me. And I'm like, this is ridiculous. You spend money on the headphones and you have to throw them away because you cannot fix them. I had a friend, God rest his soul, who was able to fix a pair of headphones of mine when we were in high school. But other than having someone who could splice things together, it's just not worth it. So I say... Maybe make it a little more money, but make it so that you don't have this hardwired. Make it so that we can just plug our own thing into it, like most little interfaces. And the only criticism I had on other interfaces that were small, that was supposed to be for portability, was that it was a micro, micro USB. Do not use micro USB, please. It's too wonky, it comes off. The regular USB-C seems to be pretty good, a nice connection. So that's my suggestion. Make it so you could just plug your own plug in. And this way, if the wire breaks, you still have this to use. You see, once this goes, okay. So anyway, be well, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Sunito, for entrusting me with doing these videos. And I hope it was enjoyable. Take care. Bye.